Yeah. <laughs> it, it turned out really good. And so, but anyway, that's what you can do. If you want to cough up a dollar of TikTok money, it'll get you a spot on the gnome wheel to win this. When I sell 20 tickets, then this goes up. It's the last sonic screwdriver I have. All the rest of them are gone now. I might, uh, I might do these, I might do the tri sabers next, uh, because they're almost done. And I did a tutorial over on YouTube on how to make these. And so I might do these three, uh, tri sabers next as I'm working on the A10. <laughs> yeah, the other Rochester. I know. Howdy, Trent. Nice to see you. <coughs> okay, so here we go. What am I doing? A10. That's what I'm doing. Okay, now, I have a whole bunch of paper sitting over here on this trash can lid. Now, I know that the A10 is going to need... Um... Ah, that's kind of heavy stuff right there. That's good. How long is this? So we do some measurements here and see what we got. 10 inches. All right. I want to make an 8-inch one. So, okay. This is going to work for the fuselage. This will be the chassis part. Hi, Austin. Nice to see you. Dragon King. I remember you. Welcome back. Nice to see you. Hi, 10. How are you? Okay, so I'm going to use this. And let me see, what else do I need? And I might need these just whoppers. Okay, see, this is a lighter weight cardstock than this stuff. And so this is more malleable. You can use it on different things to help out. Nice to see you too, Austin. Glad you're here. Dex? Well, I'm sorry, Dex. I have to call you 10. I will try to remember. And normally, I use recycled paper out of my kitchen, as you all know. Well, all of this is recycled out of my kitchen. But these are the different things that you can use. It's absolutely amazing what you can do with this stuff. As, uh, as a lot of you know and have seen, I do a lot of stuff with paper. Dublin, Ireland? Big git. Nice to see you. Welcome. <laughs> and so, paper. Yeah, these are tough because you got to cut the paper curved like this and so it can go around like that. <laughs> it's, it's hard to make these boards bend like that. It really is. Thank you, Ten. Salute. All right, so now that I got that and I got that, I probably don't need anything else. All right, so right at this point in time, that's all I think I'm going to need. So, then I don't need this one. Pepsi burp, excuse me, just yet. All right, okay, so let me see. Let's see if I can get the other, the other one to come up. Oh yeah, it came up too. <clears throat> now what I'm doing is I'm looking at these pictures. I'm trying to get the base design of uh, the uh, superstructure, or I mean the chassis. Well, uh, 10, I, I started out in the Great Bar Motel. I was playing an RPG, Star Wars. And the guys had, uh, let me get a piece of paper around here about this. Anyway, they had a piece of paper about that big, uh, right here. All right, and they were pushing it around on the star chart, and I asked them, what was that? Because I, I was new to the game. I didn't know how they were playing. And they said, oh, it's our Millennium Falcon. And I went, oh, okay, cool. And I, it, But up in my head, I'm going, oh, it's a piece of paper. <laughs> oh, geez, Stuart. <coughs> yeah, R RC servos. Yeah, okay. That would be a blast. I love milk. Me too. And tea? My honey bunny loves tea. Hi, that. How are you doing? Nice to see you. <laughs> well, 10, we got you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, Stuart, I understand. 
Did you ever see Babylon 5? So I started with a micro machine. And what I did is I went up to my cell on the weekend and uh, I had a mac and cheese box. So I ate the mac and cheese and I took the mac and cheese box and I built this Millennium Falcon in 2010. The first thing I made. Then the guys in the game blew it up and I had to patch it to get them home. Yeah, but anyway, this was the first one. And then when they got home, they wanted another one. And they made some pretty good money, so they franchised another uh, Falcon. And so I made this one. Hi, Cactus. Welcome back. Oh, no. Uh, that's tough, Stuart. They, they, those, they break. <laughs> Not care for Babylon 5. Well, okay. I did. I liked it. <laughs> that You know, that's what sci-fi is all about. There's some shows people don't like. Howdy, uh, Ben. Nice to see you. So anyway, I made this one. And later on, I realized it really didn't look right. And so I made this one. All right, now, these are all happening in 2010 when I started this. And then I realized this really wasn't good either, so I made this one. All right, much better Falcon. And then after that, I made a bigger Falcon. Man, have I got it out here? Oh, I do. Hold on, I'll bring the other Falcon out and show you. It's not packed away for the toy show. I shouldn't say toy show, I should say the fair. Anyway, what I got going on is now I got Falcons. <laughs> and so, ta-da! I did this one. Yeah. Hi, Joey. Nice to see you. Michael. Nice to see you, Michael. How are you doing? Are you Shrek? I remember Shrek. Why'd you change your name? I like Shrek. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Wilma Deering. Oh, that's cool. Thank you, Joey. Hi, nerd. How are you? Nice to see you. And so anyway, this one here, and this is a real good story. Uh, any of you guys that saw my big robot, the um, the Rifts robot that has the quad laser cannons uh, up on its back, the twin quad laser cannons? Well, I made him for this before I made this. And then I built this, and the guns were too big. So I, and I don't throw nothing away, so I made a robot to go with it. <laughs> Well, that's okay. Just block him, uh, Ben. Just block him. Don't let him come back in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Michael, I'm getting ready for the toy show. And I'm, I'm in the Lewis County Fair, you guys. All of my models are going to the Lewis County Fair to be on display for a week and a half. So. <laughs> Thank you, Visions. Yeah, oh yeah, it's light. That's because it's hollow. Okay, you could use it for a drum. All right, because I build a superstructure uh, around a chassis. Chassis piece is the center. And then I build all the ribs and everything to go with it. And so, yeah. Thank you, Trek. That would be fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yep, June Lockhart as well. Absolutely. Oh, you didn't change your name? I just called you Shrek? Wait a minute. What? Did I screw up again, Milk? Darn it. No, and, and Ben, it doesn't matter. Just block the fool. Because he's just lying to you. <laughs> well, Tan, I tell you what. <laughs> it wouldn't fly. It's made out of paper. It's too heavy. I know, Philip. Absolutely. It was uh, awesome. And you know what? In the, in the encyclopedia of Star Wars stuff, the uh, Princess Leia ship, the Tantive, that was originally the Millennium Falcon. And then they went with this one on a last minute. Uh, 
Okay, so now I've got this A10. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Okay, so I kind of have to... I know that the base of it is, is flush or flat. So basically what I do is I get my scribe line right here. Now I know I want to build this thing 8 inches. Or maybe I ought to make it 10. Yeah, I should probably make it 10. Okay, but there's the gun on the front and the nose. The nose comes up kind of like this. Yeah, and there's a gun in there. And we're going to turn it. See, this is the sketch part that's really good. Batman, how you doing, buddy? Nice to see you. Hi, clown. How are you doing? Oh, yeah, it is, clown. Uh, tomorrow, I'll be uh, on at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Oh, what's... All right. All right, Stuart, I'll show you. And here's the deal, you guys. Uh, the A-10 is the next one. When you're building a stand for your for your toy or your model, you have to build it into the hull. All right, before you sheet it and do all kinds of stuff, you have to build your stands in because they have to come out. You can't play with your toys if they're stuck on a stand. Then I don't do that. I like to be able to do stuff with my things. Thank you, Shrek. Awesome sauce, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. And thank you very much, Stuart. Yeah, it's going to be 10 inches. And so anyway, uh, I made this for a kid in the Gray Bar Motel. And he said he'd give me $1,000 if I made it for his dad. And I did. I uh, never paid for it, so I still have it. It took me 199 hours to make this. And I think, did I write the parts down? No, I did not put parts down. I finished this on 10, 11, 16. And so anyway... Uh, this is the cool stuff you can do with recycled paper. And my mom was an artist. My grandma was an artist. My dad was an, uh, a wood artist. My God, he was really good. And so I have the artistic gene. Uh, I aimed it where nobody else did in paper. And it's a very economical hobby. It takes some Elmer's glue Oh, yeah, Joe. Yeah. Okay. You can you can play with these. Like, okay, this... Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This one here. This wing right here. And uh, this wing right here. I uh, broke off. Uh, I was playing with it. And I broke it. Well, it's paper and Elmer's glue. I just glued it back together. Oh, that's fantastic, Batman. Salute. <laughs> Thank you, Stuart. No, uh, no, 10. I do not have any Thunderbird builds. I need, I need you all to take this up. Go to the paper engineer on YouTube and start learning how to do this because I don't have time to build all the cool stuff there is to build. <laughs> Thank you very much, Stuart. No, Joey, I don't. I was so into Star Wars and stuff, I never built any real-time uh, uh, stuff, but I, it, you know, I can. Elmer's, Elmer's glue. And you can call it elder's glue if you want, because <laughs> that works too. It's been around since I was a kid. Good stuff. All right, I built this in 2010, my very first piece. It don't come apart. It don't break. It's Elmer's glue, paper, and, and acrylic paint. And so, yeah. No, no, Victor, I don't. I need you to make one. Gravedigger, nice to see you. Good night, Shrek. <laughs> Take care. Thanks for changing your name. Awesome sauce, buddy. Yeah, clown. Absolutely. The paper's free. You get it at home. All right. Um, it's like this stuff right here. 
Okay, junk mail. It's, it's junk mail. I use it all the time. You just, it, yeah, it works. Well, uh, Victor, you can try, but please make the micro machines first. Cause if you make a mistake here, Victor, it's a micro mistake, easy to fix. And if you go to my YouTube channel, the paper engineer, you can learn from my tutorials on how to do this. Welcome Texas. Aiden Crawford, nice to see you, welcome. <laughs> Turn your, <laughs> your report card into a jet. Absolutely, Ten. Yeah, and it is. It's just it's just water soluble glue. You can't it it won't hurt you. It, it's it yeah. It's good stuff. It's been around forever. I do, Stuart, but I'm in between bikes right now. I'm so busy trying to put all my money into the business and home that I don't I don't have the money to finish my bike. I got the front wheel and the tanks. I have the chassis and the swing arm, a oil bag, but I don't have any rear wheel or sprockets or engine or tranny, none of the wires, handlebars, stuff like that. <laughs> I'm missing a bunch of stuff. So anyway, hi Ben, nice to see you. Uh, thank you, Connor. Yeah, it is, it is serious talent. I am pretty good at what I am. I'm really good at what I do. Okay, here's the thing. All right, I started out small, making micro machines. And I have like 50 of them. And now I'm building stuff like General Grievous. This is a nightmare build, you guys. Do not recommend making this. This is really hard. No, I have no World War II planes. I have no planes at all. The only one I've got is this one. This is the only one I've got. Uh, I am going to make a Warthog, though. Uh, that is what's in the works now, an A-10. And uh, uh, so if any of you would like, go to my YouTube channel, The Paper Engineer, and uh, start doing this because I can help you build anything that I can't. Yeah, it is, Ben. About a week. Gee, Stuart, that's you got a whole stable full of motorcycles. <laughs> I, I'm trying to build one. <laughs> and someday I'll get it done. <clears throat> okay. Now, I believe that that goes... Okay, let's bring up another picture. Ooh, there's a picture of it sideways. Now I can look to see how flat it is all the way underneath. Oh, I know, Stuart. I got all kinds of stuff I can do. I just don't have the time to do it. Okay, now. Dang it. That baby is just basically flat underneath. Goes right back from the gun, uh, from the, uh, from the uh, brass port uh, for the rotary cannon. Right back to the tail section. Okay, so it's just the front of it that comes up a little bit like that. All right, now. Well, let me see here. If I make that, if I make that eight inches, if it'll go that big. Come on, will you go that big? Come on. Put you in the middle of the picture here. It will go 10, not quite 10. There's 10. <clears throat> okay, now, I got a 10-inch picture. It's horribly pixelated. Can't tell what the heck it is, hardly. Saturn V would be good, too. Oh, I know. <clears throat> Hi, sweetheart. Nice to see you. Welcome to the show. <laughs> so anyway, now I've got 10 inches on the picture. Okay, so now what I do is I measure uh, from the... Um, landing gear section all the way up to the top of the canopy and that is inch and a half all right so now i go over to here an inch and a half and this is the top of the canopy right there now what i do is i, I check it out 
and uh, let's shrink it down a little bit. Okay, so that is a, just a gentle up, upward sweep, and then it goes around like that. Okay, and it your layout of your uh, chassis is really important. Oh, that's fantastic, Stuart. P51 Mustang. I'll tell you what. To be an ace, that was tough. That was tough to do. That is fantastic news, Stuart. Thank you, Dad, for his service. Okay, sweetheart. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, there's there's two people over there, but there's nobody there. Um, you know. Okay, so now this comes down... Let's see, that was an inch and a half. So now I need to take it back up to how big it was at 10 inches. Oops, that's, uh, that's too big. All right, there we go. And now the cockpit is two inches long. Okay, uh, wait, I got to go to the back of the cockpit from the front, which is three inches. All right, so we got three inches right here. Now I make my three inch mark. So what I've got right now is this, all right? And I'm, I'm, this is where the back of the cockpit is versus the fuselage that runs down to the tail. And the fuselage is half an inch. Okay, so way back here where the wings are is half an inch. Have that marked. Okay, so this what is this okay that is one inch no 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 cancel that all right so right back here is one inch all right you just take little measurements here and there because what you have to do uh, wow Stuart uh, that's a fantastic legacy that you have in your family. That is awesome news. Uh, my dad was in the Korean War, didn't do anything. He was a cook. I was in during Vietnam, but I was a parachute rigger. I never saw action or anything, so I was very lucky I didn't have to do that. Yeah, Stuart. Darn, Stuart. Um, this sounds like something that you could actually do. I would love to help you do this. Hey, Stuart, you went to my YouTube page. Hi, Vi. Nice to see you. Honey Bunny's back over on YouTube. Yay! <laughs> okay, so this is going up like that. Uh-huh. All right. Okay, so now I'm fleshing out the front. Basically got the front of it started. Hi, Jeremy. How are you doing? <laughs> okay, Stuart. Oh, that's awesome news. Jeez. Well, welcome to my phone show, Stuart. And thank you for being the best part of the human race. Another human being. Howdy, Ryan. Nice to see you. Welcome to the show. I kind of have a view on this human thing, you guys. Hi, Jason. All right. Now, uh, I was told three years ago, two years ago, roughly now. Oh, well, yeah, a little over two years ago. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I do support Santa. He's over on uh, a Hipster St. Nick on TikTok. Very good friend of mine. Hipster St. Nick. Anyway, uh, about... Jeez, it's almost three years ago now. This uh, high-up lady in the, in the um, uh, medical field uh, told me that uh, the aliens are coming to live with us in 2024. All right? This is... This is okay. 
Big rumor. I got it. This was in 2021. And now uh, 2022 rolls around and I get somebody that comes in here on TikTok. Very uh, secretive. About every 30 lines or 20 lines, he would feed me information about the aliens coming in 2024. Like he was a spy or something. <laughs> but I caught on to it and I understood it. And now, uh, the last three months, Anonymous has been telling everybody, hey, the aliens are moving into the planet Earth. Okay, so here's the deal. It's a big rumor. Yeah, it's a big rumor. But here's the deal. If it is true and it happens, we become a galactic civilization in an instant. We need to be the human race. We need to quit fighting each other. It doesn't matter who you are, what you are, what color you are, where you are. It doesn't matter any of that. We're human beings. And if we're going out there into space in the next few years, which I know we will, we need to be the human race. We need to quit fighting over everybody. Thank you, Stuart. That would be just awesome. I would love to uh I would love to get some feedback from you when you see my stuff over there. Absolutely, Stuart. <laughs> that's that's I like that's cute. <laughs> Okay, 10 inches. I gotta add this. It's gotta be 10 inches. All right, 10 inches. There to there. Oh, yeah. Okay. All righty. Hi, Lenny. Nice to see ya. I've been doing very good, Lenny. I hope you are well also. Gee, Stuart, what, what, <laughs> I did, oh my goodness sakes, my friend, that's amazing. I'm just, uh, I'm just a lowly paper engineer and uh, not technically trained. I trained myself. And so there is the start of an A-10. Everybody, that's Stuart, he built real rockets. <laughs> Uh, literally, it takes rocket science to do that. You know how everybody says, oh, I don't, it, it's not rocket science. Oh, yeah, well, he has rocket science. That's like 1% of the world. Well, that's good, uh, Ben, I'm glad. <laughs> that's so cool, Stuart. Awesome news. Salute, Stuart. Thank you very much for what you've done. I built SD's rockets in, in junior high school. <laughs> so I kind of get the, un, uh, you know, the fundamentals of thrust versus weight. And so, yeah, I'm doing good, Nicole. How are you? I hope you're well. What, Ben? What are you asking me for? Oh, that's cool, Scourge. Wow, that's fantastic. <laughs> Absolutely, Supreme. I'm also uh, a paper engineer, Michael. Oh, you did, Nicole? What do you do? You got married today? What are you doing on TikTok? Oh, my goodness. Well, Supreme, I am doing very well. Uh, I got a bunch of dirt so that I can start adding to uh, my compost and create better soil for my plants next year. All right, now, now that I have the base shape, okay, this now is my, um, this is my uh, chassis. 
So what I have to do now is I have to cut this out and make another one and glue them together so that my chassis is super strong. Uh, two layers of paper glued together makes this thing incredibly durable. And uh, that's why I can take my airplanes or anything else in and just wiggle them around. All right, because uh, they're built with a superstructure inside and then armor, uh, then uh, skin on that with armor on the outside of that. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, flat earth. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, thank you, uh, Kinley, uh, very much. I'm from Washington State, Supreme. Yeah, Stuart. And I, I just, when I was building these toys, after the first year, I started thinking about it, and I'm going, you know what? I need these things to last like 100 years. And so I started building them in my mind structurally sound. And so, yeah, that, that's where I came up with all this stuff. Washington, D.C.? Well, that's our, that's our capital. I'm in the other Washington. <laughs> Out by the coast. Well, I'm not on the coast. I should say, um, yeah, I'm a ways off the coast. It takes me about an hour and a half uh, to get to the Puget Sound, or to the Pacific Ocean. Weather dog, I'm doing pretty good. How are you today? And you can't hurry these cuts. When you're setting up your very first piece, you cannot hurry that part of the build. Because what will happen is you will have pieces that don't look right when you're done. Ah. We've had uh we've had actually pretty bad weather for summer. My garden did not do very well this year. I mean, it looks good, and I've got some good vegetation out there, and uh, it's starting to produce. But it is not a very good garden. Uh, it took, my cucumbers are now only six inches tall. It's taken them all year, uh, well, since I planted them, just to do something. Norway, nice to see you. Grandma's over on uh, YouTube, uh, Ben. Now, I want the painted sides to be glued together. So I flip this thing over and uh, trace it out upside down uh, so that when I glue them together, I can glue both of the paint sides together. And you have to sand your paint jobs. Uh, or I should say you have to sand your paper. Even though it is biodegradable paint, it makes it so the glue won't stick very well. <laughs> well, Stuart, um, that's understandable. It really is. You bet, Norway. Well, Dave, they weren't doing me any good. 
they did not help out the show in any way, shape, or form. So, Dave, they're done. You can, yeah, you can wear them if you want. Hi, Emily. Nice to see you. Oh, no. Oh, geez, Stuart. I'm sorry to hear that. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm air, air shenanigans and stuff. I follow those guys. I get stuff about the RC planes all the time. And uh, they look like they would be absolutely fantastic to play with. Wow, that's cool. I love the SD stuff. But my dad was not very supportive. Uh, matter of fact, he uh, pretty much uh, squashed all that for me. Which is really unfortunate because I could have made some very interesting stuff uh, from SDs. And it would have been a lot of fun to continue to fly. But that's the way it goes. And uh, as they say, darn, oh well. Now, I pre-sanded all of these things here. Well, Kenley, block him. You don't have to take any of that. And so I'm going to sand it some more because this has to be very strong. And I want the glue to adhere uh, very well on this. Um, well, unfortunately, our merchandise is slow. Nobody wants to spend any money because everybody's broke. And so any of our any of our trademark paper army gear is still on my link tree. You can go to my link tree and check out our merchandise. Uh, the cups are good. The water bottles are probably one of the best. T-shirts are nice. I've heard good things about the T-shirts. And so anyway, yeah, it's on my link tree. It's paper army merch store. We are trademarked. You're only going to find this right here. So anyway. I hope that you all can go in there and uh, buy some t-shirts and mugs and things. It would help us out a lot. Thank you very much for your support. Oh, gee, Stuart, that's awesome. Wow. Yeah, thank you, TK. Yes, I do, Stuart. It used to take us like an hour to pump up the two-stage rocket. Most, most everybody wouldn't do that. <laughs> they'd just, they'd just do one. But yeah, I like to shoot all three of them. And that's right. Uh, Bert's telling you the truth. General Crackers, don't listen to him, uh, Kinley. Ah, uh, that's cool, Stuart. I have seen them, I believe, on some kind of an ad somewhere. Well, um, hey, Pimp, he's on, he's on Kinley's channel. Kinley has to block him. He's, uh, he's been blocked here. He can't come here.
That's okay, Scourge. <laughs> no worries. And good, Kinley. You need to do that. All right, now we have these two pieces. This is the start of your build. If you don't have a good, uh, strong chassis to build on to, your builds will not hold up. They come apart. Hi, Dominic. Nice to see you. Welcome to the show. So, and this is very important. This part of it is you have to get your glue on here um, very evenly. And there's a part of the build after this that is also equally important. And that is where you have to sandwich um, this part between pieces of wood. Because here's the deal. There's a lot of glue on this. It's glue is mostly water. All right, so now what that is going to do is that is going to put water into your paper. When you get paper wet, it, um, it, um, what do they call it? It deforms, it deforms it, it warps it. Yes, absolutely. Everything that uh, I've made, I do the same type of process. I layer up the uh, chassis. The chassis has to be the strongest part of your build because it carries all the weight of your build. Okay, now I have this and it's sticking together pretty good. So here's what this comes in handy. I have these blocks of wood that I made that are specially sanded down so that they are absolutely flush or flat. Now, uh, I take these. And there. Now this has to sit up overnight. And I've warped paper before, so I know you can't you can't do it any other way. Because um it won't it won't work. Uh I warped wings on my first um um TIE Fighter, uh Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. And it was very difficult uh to get the warp out. Um, yeah, it was bad. It, it, I should have probably just started over. Uh, yes, Dominic, you could steam them. Number one, though, I don't have a steamer. And, uh, it's one of those kind of things where once I learned, and because 10 years ago, 12 years ago, when I first warped some paper, I understood early on that I had to stop that right from the beginning because it wastes too much time if you have to try and work that hard to get something straight. Thank you, Stuart, very much. And so now that has to sit there. Okay, so now we're going to go to the micro machine part. <laughs> And, yeah. All right, now, how big is that? See, I got these thumbnails. Good, Kenley. Good for you, young man. That's what you need to do. So, I think I'm going to make it four inches. Okay. Oops. There is four inches. And the cockpit at four inches is. Well. Oh! Dog guy. I hate computers. <laughs> it went to the wrong picture. It is. <laughs> well, 
Thank you, Stuart. Um, that would be awesome. I don't know if I'm going to get time to go back east. I would love to. Uh, but right at this point in time, Stuart, finances don't, uh, don't lend to being able to leave the state. I'm stuck here. And so trying to get the business to go and make some money there, uh, that's my main importance. And so uh, I would love to come back there and visit with you. That would be fantastic. But I just, uh, I just don't know when that is going to become a reality because I have got important things to do. It's just like my, my Harley, all right? I am not buying parts on my Harley because any money I get goes towards rent and right here to the show, buying stuff that I need, paints and different things. And uh, so anyway, I'm working on it. And so I'm going to keep working on it. Yeah, Kenley, we know you didn't do it. Honey Bunny took uh, uh, full responsibility of that. We know you didn't do it. So don't worry about it, Kenley. Uh, it's not one of those things that you need to worry about because we know you didn't do it. Okay, that is a quarter of an inch. Okay, so I got my measurements now. That Wait, that, that's a half inch. I think that's a half inch. Yep. All right. So a four inch micro machine of a warthog is, um, of course, four inches long. It is half an inch tall at the cockpit and a quarter inch tall at the tail. So now what we do is we take this paper right here, same exact paper that I used for the other one I'm using for the micro machine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Stuart. I absolutely get it. <laughs> so now what I do is I mark out four inches. And that part is... That part is five-eighths. So that's five-eighths. All righty. So now we take this measurement here to the 5 eighths point and we've got to bring this up here like so and then turn this around like that and that is one inch roughly to the center of the cockpit a little bit less than that actually okay and now we want a half an inch up half an inch up so you just do these quick little line traces <clears throat> and what, it, what it's doing is it's giving you uh, an eyeball shot at what you need to do uh, to make your line so that you can cut it out. Hi, right, Caterpillar. Nice to see you. Welcome to the show. You missed most of the show. I will be back um, tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you, Stuart, for coming by. God bless you, Stuart, and your family. Take care. All right, now that is my base design. That's all right, Stuart. I'll be back next Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so uh, when you can catch me, um, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I do my shows every, all the time on the same time. And then again at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you make a small note of that, and I stick to those times very, very diligently. Well, thank you, Caterpillar. Thank you very much. All right, Ben. See you tomorrow.
That's okay, Scourge. Oh, I think he's gone. Sorry, buddy. Good night. <laughs> Alright, so now we have this. This is uh, the first fuselage of the micro machine. And since I'm going to make five of them, I need ten of these pieces. Well, James, I am working in the toy business. <laughs> I teach you all how to make paper toys. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm there. <laughs> Okay, so this one has to go like that. Okay, now I, I'm going to number these. One, one, two, and two. All right, reason being, that way you get all of your parts correct and not all mixed up and in the wrong location. Because if you do model kits, they're all numbered for you. But if you do your own models, build your own toys, you have to number everything because when you're cutting stuff out, uh, sometimes there's uh, gaps in between times you get a build and don't get a build and you can lose track. All right, everybody. Uh, Kinley's right. It's the end of the show. Y'all take care. Uh, YouTubers, I'll see you later. <laughs>